Okay, let me finish this up real quick. Um, and that's why I'm saying uh, a lot of these areas, those of y'all, especially from Wisconsin, those of us who frequent these places, a lot of us had no idea. I know I did because of going on all these tours and they're telling me and telling us. So if you haven't had a chance to take one, it's very interesting when you find out how um, actually it's pretty much celebrated. And I wonder how it would be if all these gangsters were of a different hue. Would you be celebrating the area and making bed and breakfasts? And uh, how, how would you receive the history of the place? Hayward, south of Hayward near Carteret, a 1925 stone and lodge house with Al Capone's summer home on Cranberry Lake, to which hydroplanes flew whiskey from Canada. It has a machine gun turret and an eight-car garage, which was built for a wary of comfort. Two mahogany spiral staircases led to a corner bedroom along, lead to a corner bedroom along walkways that have fully view of the living room. And, out, and in Al Capone's bedroom, a switch worked all the yard lights. It was privately operated as Al Capone's hideout with tours and restaurants in the garage, and, but it closed without notice uh, in the spring of 2009 and it was sold at an auction. Wow. Cable. I can't believe it. Now, this I didn't know. Just east of the town in 1927, a resort on Lake Namikagan is rooted in the Prohibition era notoriety, although through gangsters, although not through gangsters. It was built by wealthy Chicago businessman Jacob Loeb as a retreat after the sensational 1924 trial of his teenage nephew, Richard Lowe, who was convicted with friend Nathan Leopold of murdering a young boy for the thrill of it. It was Jacob Lowe who paid celebrated lawyer Clarence Darrow to save his nephew from the electric chair, which of course he did. Today, it's called Gamish USA for the famous Bavarian Ski Resort. And his lodge and cabins have a medieval hunting lodge motif. Lodge rooms and the restaurant have great views of Lake Namakami. Not Lake Namami. Don't mistake it for that. Hurley, Wisconsin. Kaashkosh. I mean, this is it's really interesting. Madison. The interior and exterior of the state capitol building stood um uh, 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 in for the head, uh, FBI headquarters with Billy Crowder playing J. Edgar Hoover. Three tours are given daily. So basically, uh, you know, Milwaukee has a historical society uh, and it's, it's on a building on Old World 3rd Street in Milwaukee, a former bank. It was converted back into a bank by film crew. The interior scenes of the Green Castle robbery, robbery was shot there. So there's a lot of places here in Milwaukee that they use. Lake Delta, which is a place where I had a little summer uh, property at one time. Uh, the grounds of Ish, Ishnala Restaurant, a 1953 restaurant on Mirror Lake. I love fishing on Mirror Lake. It includes part of a 1909 log home that were used by film crews. I really encourage y'all to see uh, that movie because I definitely want to see it. I love to see uh, stuff that shows uh, authenticity and uh, true history about some of these areas that we just frequent and don't know the history behind them. Like me reading now about a lot of these towns in the South that are underground where white people drown black people out and built cities and over there uh, and built lakes, in fact, over their towns. There's a lot of places like 
you don't know the ground you're standing on. You know, and uh, some of it is not sacred at all. Some of it is. Like Central Park in New York. So it's very interesting. Beaver Dam. Oh, God, I love to get those uh, catfish and uh, 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 bullheads. Bullheads this big. <laughs> Musky, northern, walleye. The historical Hotel Rogers in Beaver Dam is now an apartment building called the Rogers. And it stood for Tucson's Hotel Congress, the site of the Dillinger Gang's capture after a fire broke out and authorities recognized them. Interesting. Interesting. All right. I just thought I'd give y'all a little brief history for those of y'all who are interested in Chasing gangsters in Wisconsin. Uh, because it sure is uh, a little bit celebrated compared to if this was a bunch of black gangsters. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next